Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Marist Red Foxes and the Niagara Purple Eagles. And before we go any further, let's check in on our star watch, Dick. There's a look, Dick, at the starting lineups. Check out the shooting guards. These kids are a treat to watch. They're in the starting lineup for a reason and should not disappoint. And the referee is ready to toss it up. Early in the ball game, these two teams try to set their particular tempo. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And boy, they just jump out of the gate with a score Number early. Three. They're sending the message, we're focused, baby. And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I love the four around one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you got to give help on him, and it leaves people open on the perimeter, and they better be able to make that open jump shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Number 44, pump fakes. He tries the jumper for the bucket. He gets the bucket. That's Matador defense. Nobody coming over. Nobody giving any help. I mean, that's how you see better defense on a playground. For two, he buries it. Good cut, great pass right there. There's nothing like a well-timed backdoor cut and pass. I'm sure they practice that all the time. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to... And a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, good second effort to stay with it right there. Did a great job attacking the defense. Hey, a player's senior year is such an emotional one. The key is to stay focused and not get caught up on being in your last year of collegiate basketball. If you focus on the right things, win or lose, it'll be a memorable experience. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Turn around jumper. And come up short. The shooting guard takes the feed. Left, left, left. Get over. Left, get over. Trying to pack it inside. Two minutes left on the game clock. Good job defensively. Pushing in transition. Goes up for two. It sticks. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Tries for two. He missed. Number 24 takes the pass. Gave it up for the bucket. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Off target. The shooting guard gets the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Blocked! Nice job defensively. Now looking to attack. About a minute remaining. The Purple Eagles can't afford to have him pick up too many more fouls. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Number 41 steps to the line for the first time. This is the first. Football special situations, you got to be able to execute there. The small forward handles the pass. He pulls up with a jumper. He makes the jumper. This is the type of guy that can throw the whole kitchen sink at you if you're not careful. I'll tell you one thing, Mr. Nestler. He's worked hard to develop a variety of post moves. Just a complete post player. 
Trying to feed the low block. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Shot clock is dead. Sinks it. Number 42. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Or two. Too strong. Number 30 is charged with the foul. Third team foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Here's another solid junior, Dick. Knowing there are guys on your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful is a big bonus. It's that one. Misses the second. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. At the end of the first half, the Purple Eagles down by four. Niagara had a dismal first half that was filled with missed field goal opportunities, Dick. I'll tell you what, it's going to be the same in the second half if they continue to take bad shots. While we get a moment here, let's take a look at the keys for each of these teams today. I've been really impressed with just how hard both teams are playing. These numbers show you how they've been performing. Number zero is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. Going with a man-to-man -man full court press now, Dick. Momentary look from three-point land. He pump fakes. He shoots the jumper. They get it to go. They've got him right where they want him, Dick. Number 41 gets the pass. Down inside. That's not a good pass. Trying to execute on the inbounds. Way out on top. Control of the ball. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. He goes for three. Jumper won't go. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. Knocks it down. Number 41. The shooting guard handles the pass with a jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Might be a ball screen here, Dick. Well, you gotta use that screen. Hey, how to dribble a use of the screen is important in a pick and roll situation. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Up and inside. From the corner, nails a sweet jumper. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Takes the shot. Nope. He takes the rebound. They look to get it to the inside. Takes the jumper. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. On the left side, work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Shoot. 
The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Watch your head, young fella. Looking for a good shot. Out of bounds, and we're staying right here. Let's check out this jumper one more time. Dumps it in. Number 41 picks up the foul. First personal foul. He goes to the free throw line. Go! Misses the second. Pushes it up. He goes up with it. He misses the J. Shot clock is dead. The center takes the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. The missed shot. And they burn a timeout here. We'll have more NCAA coverage coming up in a moment. Timeout on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us here? Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Nick, you were on the sidelines for a long time. What's it like calling the shots over there? Well, the biggest thing is making the call and then sticking with it. You never want to waver on the decision you make. That's definitely a no-no in my books. Even if you make the wrong call, it's better to stick with it. We're about ready to hit the floor. This is the big time. And off the mark. Here we go into OT, Dick. Hey, let's see who's going to be standing at the end of this one, Brad. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Well, this man's in trouble. And the strip. Quick hand. Looks like he put the ball right in his hand. Hey, he'll be thinking about that one all night. Nails the J. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestle. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. On the outside. For the bucket. It won't fall. There is 
That's such a thing as a good foul. That was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him to prevent the easy basket. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Trying to feed inside. Oh, he dribbled the ball out of bounds. It's a team effort across the board so far today, Dick. You know, as a coach, it's great to get all five guys on the floor working together. That's how you get wins. It takes the pressure off of the stars and gives the opposition fits. Outside. He puts up the J. Nails the J. Number 44. Number one with the ball. They go into the low block. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They've got him right where they want him. Richard pushes it up. About two minutes remaining on the game clock. For two. No good. Number two gets the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. He misses the jumper. The Purple Eagles are gonna try to hold on to the lead here, but should probably do so by playing in the half court as opposed to that up-tempo style, Dick. Preserving the lead should be the primary focus. Continuing to play an up-tempo game would be very smart at this point. Two with a lay-in. Look at that, that's unbelievable, baby. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. They work it around the perimeter. About a minute remaining in the game clock. There may be a pick and roll here, Dick. You've got to love the pick and roll, especially when it's run to perfection, Brian. He misses the J. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He can light things up in a hurry. He's got that scorer's mentality. You're either born as a scorer or you're not. This kid can fill it up. They're working around the perimeter. Puts up the J. Rims out. Shot clock is dead. Working it around the perimeter. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. They have to foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Now let's check back in now on our Star Watch player. The clock stopped with a foul. Defensive foul to number 41. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Defensive foul to number 41. Number 41 has whistled for the foul. Fifth team foul. Substitution. Merit. And the clock stopped with a foul. Defense Chance to get an easy one here. Up and in. He makes the second. Calls a timeout. We'll be back with four in a moment. Timeout. 
they want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, this is probably a wise timeout here. As you guys know, it gives the coaching staff a chance to discuss strategy, discuss plays, and point out cues which will help the players make decisions. Let's see what unfolds here, guys. Well, then, they've had a chance to talk it over. What do you think the players are thinking about right now? Hopefully they're thinking what they're going to do to win this game, baby. But seriously, they need to be thinking about their defensive assignments and what their coach wants them to do offensively. We get ready to bounce back into action here. With a deep pass, scorches the net. And the clock stopped with a foul. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. It's the second shot. Back to the live action we go. Trailer, trailer. Pushes it. Number 30 is called for the foul. Second team foul. It's usually pretty much of an adventure when this young guy steps to the line. Well, you know he's got to get into a routine. It's about routine and repetition, Brad. away with the win in overtime. But two teams like this, you knew the game was going to be close. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.